Today, we are doing our second attempt to get our autopilot up and running. So join Wilson and I, and also uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like the, our, our channel. And also, it would be great if you took a little bit of time and listened to the bloopers and maybe the inspirational quote at the end. Thanks, let's get started. had water in the cabin so I decided to get it cleaned out just kind of floating down the river now Wilson suggests that we get this done now so that things have a chance to dry out by the time we uh, get done today okay we got everything out of the cabin everything out of the bucket that five gallon bucket was uh, four or five inches of water in it so I got all that stuff out getting everything out drying inside of the cab boy footloose needs a good cleaning I'll tell you after not being in her for almost four months but we'll get her done with Wilson's help we'll get her done well got out in the water and uh, Wilson and I worked on different ways to attach get the autopilot to work unsuccessfully so I called Ray Marine back and actually made it to tier 2 which uh, actually has persons that can speak English and uh, he wants me to go tie up to the dock so we can start fresh and run through everything so I'm head we're heading in right now to tie up at one of the docks Well, I was able to get in touch with a Tier 2 uh, support tech with Ray Marine, and it appears that the uh, Ray Marine is not attached to the Garmin, that the wrong cables were used and possibly put the wrong way together. So I need to take it to a Ray Marine person to uh, properly get this thing wired. And so that's not going to happen until I get to Massachusetts. Right now we're heading in. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure I got a solution. Not happy, but it is what it is. Take care.